On completion of this chapter, you will be able to create a non catalog requisition. Select your iProcurement responsibility. You will now be looking at the Shop tab within iProcurement. Click on Non Catalog Request, a drop down menu list for the item type. Select Goods Build by Quantity. Enter Books into the Item Description field. Click on the magnifying glass for Category. Enter MISC into the Search field and click the Go button. Quick Select MISC Doc MISC. Enter a quantity of 10 into the Quantity field. Click on the magnifying glass for unit of measure. Enter each into the search field and then click the go button. Quick select each. Enter 5.00 as the unit price within the unit price field. Where applicable, tick RFQ required or negotiated checkboxes. Enter a contract number if applicable. By selecting the new supplier checkbox, this tells iProcurement not to validate the supplier. This allows you to enter a supplier name and address that is not yet approved by your organisation. Click on the magnifying glass for the supplier. Enter AGS into the search field and click the Go button. Quick select the AGS supplier, London. Click Add to Cart button. You will now see your non catalogue items in the shopping cart region of this page. Click View Cart and Checkout button. The Shopping Cart page is now displayed. Should you wish to delete any items from your shopping cart, there is a delete icon at the far right hand side. Click the Checkout button. The Requisition Information page is now displayed. Enter a unique requisition description name into the Requisition Description field, i.e. Monthly Library Order. Adhere to your organisation's naming conventions. Ensure the need by date is suitable within the need by date field. Ensure the deliver to location is suitable within the deliver to location field. Click on the edit lines button. Click on the accounts tab. Ensure the charge account details are correct. Click the apply button. You have now returned to the requisition information page. Click the next button. The approval page is displayed. As the requisition cost is low, there is no approval required. This requisition will self-approve. There is a field within the Notes region of this page called Notes to Buyer, which is where you would enter relevant information to the buyer or procurement team. Click the Next button. Review the details. Ensure the information is correct. Click the Submit button. You will see the confirmation page with the requisition number. Click the Continue Shopping button. The shop page is now displayed. You will see the non-catalog requisition in my requisition region of the... You have now learnt how to create a non-catalog requisition.